Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're back home. It's kind of weird. We're in a different setup. Um, my room's a bit of a mess, so I've tried to angle you so you see a, as little of a mess as possible. But today it's the what's the date? Nineteenth. The nineteenth of March. In the UK, things are kind of starting to get more serious with all the coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. So, um, because I just got back from the US on the 16th, uh, 17th, um, I haven't been out of the house until today. So today I was like, okay, I'm gonna go out of the house. You never know if we're gonna be on lockdown, whatever. So I'm gonna go priorities, go to Primark and also a couple of other shops just to get out of the house. It was dead anyway, there's hardly any people. Um, other than that, I have been like staying inside, staying safe, whatever. Um, but I just had to get the house, get out the house, especially if we're going to be going into lockdown or whatever. Um, before I'm forced to stay in, I just had to get out. So anyway, this is going to be a haul. I'm going to show you what I got from Primark and maybe the couple of bits that I got just to show you. Um, and people can watch this whilst they're quarantined inside and just try and make the most of the situation that we're all in at the minute because it's just all very crazy but I haven't been in the UK in like what eight months so I haven't been to Primark I've missed it so let's get into showing you what I got basically oh if you don't know my name's Sadie welcome to my channel please subscribe before you leave give it a thumbs up follow me on Instagram blah de blah de blah I'm gonna have nothing to do with myself for the next few months so hopefully the content's gonna be on me up this isn't going to be a try and haul because I've mostly just got like random bits and bobs um, and I'm just going to be pulling straight out of the bag so they're going to be in any kind of order. The first thing on the top is just some cotton wool pads, can't live without them and to go with it just some micellar water, this is the oil one, oil infused cleansing water, 90p and I think this is like 90p as well, it doesn't have the price on it but around that kind of thing, are you going to be able to see them? No that's fine. Um, and then the next thing I got was some pyjamas. Who doesn't want a fresh set of pyjamas? Um, they were £7 and I got a small which is a 10 to 12. And they're just some like shorts and a vest top. It's pretty cold here at the minute but for some reason the past two nights I've been really hot in my sleep. I don't know if it's just because I've got used to sleeping with like a thin duvet. Um, but anyway so I just that's why I got the shorts and vest top one even though it's kind of cold. These are really soft and they were £7 for the top and the bottoms. After that, I got this belt. This belt was £4 and I got an extra small. And you're going to be thinking, extra small, you're not extra small. But I always find with these belts from Primark, I'm just going to show you, it's like croc with this um, buckle. With the belts from Primark, or Primark, I always find that even if you get an extra small, right, if I'm wearing it as a waist belt, that's about right for my waist and there's still all this extra left. So always um, go down with the belts because you can just get bigger but I always have to add holes in if I get bigger so that's why I got the extra small. And I just thought it was really good and like looked like it's really going to add to my outfits you know. So that's why I got that, £4, can't go wrong. I got quite a few like accessories and stuff. I did get these scrunchies. It was two pounds for the three and I just really liked the material. It looks kind of expensive, like this shiny kind of material. It's kind of like chiffony vibes. But yeah, I just thought they were cute for two pounds. Next up, I got these shoes. Now, where am I wearing these? I don't know. <laughs> but I just had to get them because they are so like Zara vibes and even like kind of designer. Like, you know, these little shoes that are in at the minute, like the little heel with the strappy sandal. Let me, it would help if I cut them apart, you'd be able to see a lot better, but anyway. Um, we'll just hold this one here while I show you. You see, they're like these strappy sandals, like three straps, the square toe, the chunky little low heel, like they should be comfy. These were 10 pounds, 10 pounds. And you cannot tell me they do not look like Zara. And you know what they remind me of? If you follow Sarah Ashcroft, 
she always wears these kind of shoes and I just think they look really good. Like, she'll wear these with cycling shorts and a t-shirt. It just makes it look put together, you know? So I just thought they were really cute. I haven't tried them on yet, but I got them in a six, which is my normal size. So hopefully they fit. Next, boring again. I just got two just packs of socks because when I was packing to come home, right, I didn't have a lot of time, I did not have a lot of effort, and I didn't have a lot of space. So I had a pile of like pants and socks and stuff, and I was just grabbing handfuls, like I don't need it, I don't need it, throwing things into my like rubbish, what I was throwing away. Like I had a pile of clothes that was to throw away, and I was just grabbing handfuls of these socks and pants. So any socks that I have got, I don't even know if they're in pairs because I was just grabbing and throwing away. So I just bought white trainer socks, my trainers are white. <laughs> So I got some white trainer socks, seven pairs for two pounds. That's why I got white in those ones. And then I, whilst I was in America, I bought some Steve Madden like boots, dot kind of style, like really chunky boots. Um, so I just got some longer black socks, five pairs for 180 because with the boots, I just like the longer socks. So they're not gonna rub around the top, you know? After that, what are these? That wasn't from Primark. I bought these, I bought two packs of these individual lashes. I've seen people like posting TikToks and like videos about using these individual lashes in different ways. Maybe I'll test them out in a video, I don't know. But I thought I'd give it a go. You get 60 in the pack and the pack is a pound and I got two packs. Then I got these trackies. They were just, how much were they? Why is there no price? That's very annoying. Oh, eight pound. They were eight pound. And they're just like a nudie beige mall kind of tracky bottom. They've got pockets, which are like, they're not thick trackies, they're like more thin. And I just thought they would pair nicely with like other stuff. I've got like this, this jumper matches pretty nice. Just for like comfy, but will look kind of cute. They're just rolled up at the bottom like this and I actually got these in a 14 to 16 because I've bought some tracky bottoms from Primark Women's before and if you get your own size they're kind of like a bit tight or a bit not high waisted enough so that's why I went up um, and they have got a tie at the waist so I can just tie in the waist up which is good so they're those they do look pretty big actually but like I said I can cinch the waist so I thought they were nice because it's cold here and I don't have a lot of trackies and stuff. Oh my gosh, this is one of the best things I got. We'll save that for last. Get that out. And the next thing I got was just another essential because I threw it away in the process of moving. I threw away my hairbrush. So <laughs> I bought a hairbrush. It was 80, no, 90p. And it's just something I needed because well, I didn't have one. <laughs> so now I have a hairbrush again. It's just a basic black paddle brush type of thing. Um, then I got these earrings, which were £2. And I think they're so cute. Like, I hope that's focused enough. But they really, really remind me of Sophia and Chintia. Particularly Chintia. But I just thought they were so that kind of vibe. And I just thought they were really cute. So I got those and they were just £2. Cute. And then also, the last thing from Primark, which is probably one of my favourite things, is this headband. I want to take it off the, the label so I can show you properly. Hmm, you can probably pull it off actually. Let's see. Don't mind me, I'll probably cut this bit out. We'll see if I can be bothered. There we go. This was £8, so for a headband in Primark it was a bit more expensive, but... I think it's worth it because this in Zara would be like 30 quid I reckon it's so nice like look at that beading are you having me on eight pound it's so pretty I don't even know if I pull off hair bands that much but I just had to get it because I was like wow if imagine I've straightened my hair or curled it or something because right now it's just a mess but look at it wow unreal unreal if you to ask me 
Let's try it this way. I don't think this is going to suit me like this. What? No, I would wear it the other way. But I'm with my hair straight or up or something. It's so cute. So anyways, I had to get one of them. They had loads of these little headbands. But this was the nicest one, if you ask me. Next place I went was... I'm just deciding what to do next. We'll do Paper Chase. I went to Paper Chase because I want to scrapbook my experience in Disney. Um, like, just the whole time that I was there. The trips that I went on, that kind of thing. So, I bought a scrapbook to do it in. And it's this one here. It says, Not all who wander are lost which is a quote that we had up on our wall in our kitchen in Vista. Um, it has white pages. And I'm going to order photos from free prints to put in here and stuff. This was only £10, which for paper chase I thought wasn't bad. It doesn't... Does it say how many pages there are? No. Because when I was in there, I was trying to look how many pages there was in it to try and get an idea if it's going to be big enough, but... I think I can make it work anyway. So I bought that. I can always get a second one if I need to, I guess. And also in Paper Chase, I bought these pastel um, fine liners for writing in the scrapbook. They were £4 for five pastel coloured fine liners. I wonder what colour the white one is, too. That's just black. Because there's a white pen. Hmm. Anyway. And then I also bought these gold sharpies and silver um for writing on my ears because hold on, let me get them off hold on when we left disney usually you get a graduation but because of the circumstances we were rushed out of there we didn't get a graduation um but when i checked like out like gave my keys back and stuff they gave us our hats so at Disney, you get a graduation hat when you leave the college programme. You can take these and get them embroidered with your name and you can also get the ears written on. Seeing as I can't do that, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> so I haven't looked into the embroidery yet, but I'm sure we have some gold thread that I can just put my name in there. And then I bought the pens for writing on the ears, like DCP 2019, 2020, something like that. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to put on there yet, but that is what I bought these for. And then, from Poundland, going on the scrapbooking kind of thing, I bought these um, gems. They're just like like all different coloured little gems to go in the scrapbook. I also bought this tape, which they don't look amazing, but the gold looks okay. It's basically just tape, what glittery coloured tape. There's silver, red, gold, rose, gold, and black. Let's see how sticky it is. I was thinking I could use it to stick some of the photos down instead of using glue or something. Um, okay, well, the end of that isn't coming up. Oh, there we go. Hmm, that might actually work. Okay. So yeah, I bought that tape from Poundland. I also bought some other sticky options. So I got a sticky roller. It has eight meters of roller and it's just like tape in a roller. And also some glue dots. Um, just to try and figure out what's the best way to stick my photos and stuff in there. And then the last place I went was Superdrug. Which, this stuff isn't overly exciting, but I'll show you anyway. You might be interested, who knows. I got a razor, because I did not bring a razor back with me. It seemed like a waste of storage, so I just got a Venus. Do you like Venus razor? Okay. Um, along with that, I got some shaving cream. It was on offer, and it's the Satin Care Violet Swirl Shave Gel. And it's a big one, it was like £1 something on offer, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll get that. I never used to use shaving cream like here, but in America I was using it like from Dollar Tree, which is like Poundland. 
um and that was like a little one like this big for a dollar and this is the whole thing for one something so i thought that was pretty good um and it was next to the razors so i just threw it in there and then i bought a new concealer because my concealer's about to run out i've used revolution conceal and define before i love it um and i bought thought i'd try a different one this is the conceal and hydrate so i just thought i'd give that a go Um, so yeah, Conceal and Hydrate, I got it in C5. Um, I got a new Superdrug card because I don't know where my old one is. And I also, if you're not a student, you need to get one of those cards. Use it along with your student card and you get a good discount. And then I also got four cream eggs <laughs> because my mum had some cream eggs in the house yesterday and I basically ate them all, so I bought four replacements. So... I'm making my room messier and messier as I've gone along. Anyway, I'm sure you don't really care, but um, so yeah, that is everything that I bought. I could have bought more, but I was trying not to spend too much because I now don't have a job. So let's not try to spend all my money at once, you know. Um, but yeah, there was so much more I could have bought. There was a leather jacket in Primark that I really liked. It had like a tie around the waist. It was that kind of boxy like shirt leather jacket thing that is kind of in at the minute. Um, and loads more, but anyway, yeah. I'm back home. There was some shopping that I bought. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my socials. See you soon.